Good morning from day three and my final day in Disney World for this trip. Mr. Cheesy Pop! Hey everyone, it's Max. Good morning from my room here at Pop Century. This is how I start every morning here uh, in Disney World with some Joffrey's. I always brew it up. I have a tiny little bit of breakfast and some coffee in the room before I head out. It's much needed when you are doing a Disney trip. So that's how I start every morning. Coffee is brewed. Max, your water's a yellow orange. That's because it's emergency. I always start my Disney days with some emergency also because, you know, being in these parks around all these people, you know. Hmm. So I like to keep the immune system up when I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> this is not an ad for Joffrey's or Emergency. I just like their products, by the way. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna eat breakfast. I gotta wake up. Ooh. Bags are dropped. I have like a half day uh, at Epcot that I'll be doing today, um, which is great. Some food and wine. I already got my Guardian's uh, virtual queue. Did that right at, you know, 6.59 a.m. I was ready to go. Set my alarm for 6.55 today. Uh, so I'm walking to the Skyliner now, and uh, there it is, right over there in the distance, Skyliner, gonna hop on, go to Epcot, start the last day here, a beautiful day, beautiful morning before the blazing heat comes, <laughs> alright, I'll see you in Epcot. Pretty sweet when you can score a Skyliner to yourself. Look at that. I mean, like this view is just unbelievable. Oh. I love this thing. They should build more of these Skyliners, by the way. Just everywhere. Where the Walt Disney Company headquarters are still located today. They really should just build more of these Skyliners just in different uh, parts of the resort to cover other resorts because it's so easy and convenient and you don't have to get on a bus. <laughs> and it's just pretty. It's just honestly it's beautiful to look at, at all this. <sighs> Good morning from Epcot. Uh, the park just opened. It's 8.30 and uh, I actually just looked at my Guardian's return time and uh, it moved up a lot, which is uh, great. So originally when I got it, it was like group 45. Your estimated return time is 12.30 and now it says 10.30. Make sure you always check that app just so you can keep track of your day. It's a, that's a little helpful hint. <laughs> um, I'm going over to see how long the line is uh, at Frozen, because eh, I love my Frozen, so. Hi. All right, you just play random music. Hey, Olaf. No? Hi. Okay. It's Frozen time! Yes, I'm waiting in line. 35 minute wait. It's not bad. You know, with Remy opening, it's really cut down on the Frozen wait time, especially in the morning. Because now you got two uh, big rides here, so... Let it snow! Let it snow! <laughs> I love the Frozen ride so much. <laughs> well, that was a great way to start the day. And it was less than the posted wait time also. Pro tip, get off the Frozen ride, go straight to the bakery. Um, this is called Alefsa. Cinnamon and sugar butter all rolled in this thing. Delish. Under $4. It's just a really simple treat to start your day and sort of breakfasty, you know? You can also get the school bread here, famous school bread, of course, but I went with this. I, I like my cinnamon sugar. I'm just over here in Germany watching the trains go by. 
This is so... This is one of the most peaceful times in the park, too. If you could come early. So I'm just, just been watching the trains go by for the last few minutes. It's great. For real though, like, there's no one here in Italy. Oh, there's one person. But, like, this is, if I lived here, I would come here and do, like, my daily walk, you know, every day. Just right around Epcot. Doesn't that sound like a great idea? <laughs> like, at this time of day, though. Not, not like, you know, 2 o'clock or something crazy, but this is amazing. Well, I was the only one in Italy there. Someone took my photo. That was really nice of them. They came in there. Uh, do I want Jaffe's? What am I doing? I don't know. <laughs> I decided against having anything else right now. Just besides water. Uh, especially before I ride Guardians. want to keep my stomach empty. So this walk around will be all I do. And of course, you know, I took the long way around. It made sense though because my return time, you know, was in a little bit. So the long way made sense. And I wanted to just kind of see it and be here with no one around. I love it. Epcot at this time of day is the best. I will say this about, wow, that bird's a lot. Ooh. He's like, when does the food and wine booths open so I can be fed? That's what he's saying. Um, I will say this about the World Showcase. It's really missing our international cast members. Once the international cast members come back, then it will really feel like the place we all know and love. Uh, that was one of the best parts, obviously, going country to country, interacting with people from that country. It's just so special. Nothing against uh, all of you lovely Floridians working here, um, but I really miss our international uh, CMs. Amazingly, my return time has been called at 9.55 a.m. Way earlier than expected. Hey, that's fine with me. I'm gonna head over to Guardians. Cause look where I am already. I'm, I'm already basically back here. So, and I'm back. It's time for Guardians of the Galaxy. Ah, yes. So one of the new features in the app, it tells you your estimated wait time once you actually like get back to the line. So it's at 30 minutes. Last time um, when I was on it the other day, it said 45, and it was accurate. So, I love it. Classic. So, we'll see if it's uh, 30 this time. Okay, so it's way less crowded in this room than it was for me the other day, so I can already tell that it's gonna be way less of a wait. Brilliant. Gosh, this thing is so good. Wow. And I got a song I hadn't had before. Everybody wants to rule the world. It was so cool. Man, oh man. Boy, do I love that ride. It's so good. Uh, oh, oh man, uh, that's it for a while. That's it. You can only go once and you get the uh, virtual queue. That's it. Um, awesome. By the way, so I checked uh, the timing of it. It was 25 minutes from when I scanned in to when I got in the first room where you get the explanation. So I think that's how they judge the wait time, based on that. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Awesome. You know what I haven't done? I haven't taken a photo pass picture with that in the background. I'm gonna do that to celebrate my incredible journey on Guardians of the Galaxy. God, it's so good. First food and wine thing of the day is familiar. It's the fry basket. But last time I, it was so like hot and I was just, I, I couldn't like have alcohol. I just couldn't do it. But I really wanted to try this key lime lager that they have here. Uh, so yeah, key lime pie last night at uh, Wine Bar George. Oh, and the key lime cookie, key lime chocolate cookie at Gideon's, key lime streak. Let's have some here. I got ID'd, yeah, <laughs> I love it. I got ID'd, fantastic for this tiny little beer. Uh, that's awesome. So let's try it. Man, this is great. It's really refreshing. Mm, mm, mm. I think I just really love key lime. I do. Love key lime. Which makes sense. I really like citrus things. Oh, hey, let's go. What's up, orange bird? So key lime, lemon, Orange, uh, I'm just a big fan lately, especially lately. I really love it. Uh, 
Yes, I would I would buy like, you know, a six pack. This is excellent. Oh, cheers guys. Thanks for following along on my adventures. So I'm gonna take my key lime and head into another place to get some beer and wings. It's brew wing. Once again I wanna point out the trash can, it's right here. <laughs> so good. So good. Um so here's brew wing. It's beer and wings. Perfect. I don't know which one to get though. Sticky wings with peanut sauce, garlic parmesan, traditional, <laughs> sriracha lime, dry rub jerk spice with Oh man, these all sound good. Alright. First food and wine item, the sriracha lime wings. Well, I guess that was the first food and wine, but I wanted to save some of the key lime with the lime. Yeah, right? And this is a pineapple beer, so. Lime, pineapple, hot wings. <laughs> Ooh, pineapple, pineapple blonde. Excellent stuff. Not, not like a, not like a sweet beer. Just like that hint of pineapple. Yeah. Lime on the lime wings. We got a uh, Matt and Shannon Hello. again. Hello again. I'm seeing you too <laughs> much. Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, this is great. Not too much. No, not we enough. love this. We lo it's true. It's not enough. All right, wings, beer, food, yay, lime. Let's try this on camera. Mmm. Oh yeah, these are great. And you had these. Yeah, I, I devoured those. They were so good. Yeah, these are really good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is this is excellent stuff. You guys got to come here. Brew wing. Whoa. Hmm. Oh, and it's like listed as hot. But it it you know it's Disney World hot. Okay. <laughs> yes, it's a little spicy, but it's not gonna you know burn you or anything. It's fine. Yeah. Yum. I'm just reporting back to you about the wings. They were great. I couldn't really talk to you because uh, my hands were just. A mess. You need a lot of napkins and, and some, you know, wet naps and you'd be all good. But they were. Oh, yummy. Uh, gonna get some more food in the World Showcase now. Spain time. Spain is always, always wonderful. One of my favorite booths of the entire festival. It's just fantastic. Charcuterie, paella, seafood salad. Uh, really, really good wines, too. I mean, this, yeah. It's like I want all of it, but I can't, I can't have it all. Yeah, we'll see. It's all the food from Spain. Seafood salad, paella, charcuterie, and I, I can promise you it's all delicious. I've had all of it before, so yay. Spain coming through again. That was delish. Super fresh ingredients. Yummy for you guys. Really good. Spain delicious. is, yeah. Year after Always year, yeah, year after year, consistent hit. Unlike the booth that we are approaching now. <laughs> Consistently the worst booth, Italy. Which should be one of the best because it's Italy, but it is consistently just not good. It's very sad. All they have here is gnocchi, two plates of gnocchi. I don't, I, I, I just don't get it. And in a cheese sauce and a vodka sauce, by the way, the Italian margarita that they have has tequila in it. The last time I checked, that is Mexican. I... One day, get your act together, Italy, one day. It's hops and barley time, America. There's no lime. This is wild. I, I, I love this. Okay, no lime. This is the crab slider, and I'm on a lime kick here. This is a strawberry lime beer. Alright. You got the crab slider too. Yes. And you got a pumpkin ale. You, you started pumpkin season. I'm breaking in fall. Alright. First pumpkin spice. You did it. I'm not starting yet. I just no. can't do it. No. But I'm sure it's, it's do it. right. I'm sure it's, it's good. Wrong. It feels very frothy. You got something very interesting, I got Shannon. The coffee, coffee hard cider? Bold wow. coffee or something like that? Weird. Yeah. That's wild. Old rock it's a very interesting cider. flavor. That sounds like it. Yeah. A cider with coffee. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mine's great. It's uh, 
like keep like the key lime one I had, but a hint of strawberry because it's got strawberry in it. So this is as descriptive as I'm getting because it's hot. Okay, <laughs> thanks. Bye. Nice. Mmm. Yum. Good, right? Mm hmm. Like That's nice. That's actually a solid crab cake. No. Yeah. It's not like one of those nasty ones that are all stuffing either. No. I actually taste crab. And... It tastes like crab and the slaw is great. Right. Yeah, this is good. This is good stuff. Hey, good job, America. It's France time. France, always one of the best uh, booths in the festival. Uh, so we're going to get a bunch of items here. In France, en France, oui. Mm. J'ai faim, even though I've eaten a lot today. We got one of uh, basically everything in France here for the most part, as you could see. So, uh, escargot. This is the short rib. This is the, the beignet au fromage, I think. Is that what we got? Something like that. Creme brulee. This is the, these are mimosas, yeah? Strawberry. Strawberry. Rose, I think. Strawberry yeah, martini. and then uh, that is the uh, passion slash martini. Classic. This is wild. Ah, bon appetit. All right, we're, we're trying the beignet au, au fromage. Au trois fromages. Three cheese beignet, that means. Okay. Okay. So, shit, sure. Okay. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Decadent. Uh, uh, mm. <laughs> that was so much more than I thought it was going to be. Well, there's three cheeses. <laughs> Look at mine came out the bottom. Mm. <laughs> it's wow. uh, dense. Weighty. Yeah, like this weighs a lot. Wow. This is how you do. Uh, this is how you lift weights with with your your. Oh yes. Your beignet au trois fromage. You have to alternate arms. Even oh my out. god, there's so much cheese in there. It's <laughs> a lot of cheese. Like it's like a it's like a bread bowl. Yeah. Because the cheese is like a sauce basically. Mm -hmm. Wow. Look at this. So this is the short rib. That is oh that's just so much. Wow. Let me try this. That's delicious. Whoa. Mmm. Yeah, they put bread on top. Braised beef uh, in, in Cabernet is what it says. Mmm, 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 mmm. Parmente de boeuf brasé au Cabernet. I'm just now I'm reading this. Par, par, parmentier. It's delicious. Yeah. This is the brioche, uh, brioche escargot. Yes, snail. Yeah. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That is so good. I love that. You like the escargot? Mm-hmm. Brioche show escargot. And I got a big piece of escargot right on the top. It might be my favorite, oddly enough. Yeah. Actually, all three dishes are great. You know, you got to beware here in France, too. Everything is very heavy. Everything is very heavy. On a hot day like today, <laughs> you better be in the shade to eat any of this, because it's all heavy, but all really, really tasty. Whew. Wow. I'm gonna just have it in some strawberry rose mimosa here. Yeah. You know. Crème brûlée time. Oh, we're gonna do the crème. Hey. Clink. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Yeah. Texture. It's smooth and Ooh. creamy. Oh, it's yummy. That tastes like crème brûlée. I mean, I saw you guys tried this earlier, and yeah. this is way better now. It didn't look like that. It was a little. It was just too hot on the day you a had curly, it. Curly, yeah. Well, because it'd been sitting. Right. Well, there you go. We got, we got some good creme brulee there. France is great. Oh, I'm gonna go. Had a lovely time with Matt and Shannon today. That was great. Again, it's just so fun seeing them uh, every time I come here. I'm gonna take a photo pass, because why not? Um, that was so much food in France. I'm a little full. I've got like another hour and a half left here, so I gotta keep going. But it's also 90 like three degrees, but I'm gonna take another lap around. Let's go. Oh my gosh, it's an Oswald sighting. I love this Oswald, this knit. Oh, he's so adorable. Wow, an 
actual Oswald sighting. Cool. As I take my uh, lap around here, I keep popping in stores just so I could cool down. It's so hot. Oh my gosh, it smells so good over here at the Caramel Kucha store. That stuff. Oh. Uh, I might go back and get some caramel popcorn to take home, but uh, it has, like I have to do it at the end, you know what I'm saying? The like, very end. Hey Disney, I'm noticing a severe lack of hand sanitizers now. You know, the ones that you go up to and you just, you know? They used to be all over the place and I think they've taken them away, which is an odd choice. I thought those would be here forever. They were very convenient, clean, safe, sanitary. I don't know, I feel like, why did they get rid of those? Come on! Uh, that's the kind of stuff that should have stayed forever. And I've been walking around this whole loop. I, I can't find one. <laughs> wow, characters galore back here. Wow. Rafiki, look at this. I can't believe the Quincy Bears are here. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Pluto, Goofy, Smee. <laughs> wow. This is always a pretty good uh, location to know about if you are looking for characters in Epcot. They do kind of pop up in here. Uh, so if you are looking to meet some characters, this is a great spot. It's right uh, like in Canada, basically. So I know how I want to end my food and wine experience. It's with the filet in Canada, but I need to really cool down before I do that. So I am, I am so hot. Uh, luckily, Canada also has a place where you can cool off the apple seed orchard, which is usually the spot where they show the Canada film. It's right over here. So you can cool off down here and uh, that's what I'm gonna do, because I need it. <laughs> oh man, I am so overheated. There you go. Cool off. Cool off, get some apple. <sighs> One more, Canada. Let's go, this is the final stop of food and wine. No lines. I think it's just too hot. And this they spread out the dates of this festival for so long now that people are like, I'll, I'll come when it's not 95 degrees. There it is, guys. We did it. The Le Cellier Filet. And some ducks. Oh, he wants my filet? No. Uh, there it is. Mm. Cheers to a great trip. The Le Cellier Filet. Mushrooms, truffle butter, Ugh. Somehow I saved room for this. That's wonderful. Still the best. Whew. All right, fill up the water. One more lap around because I got to buy a couple things. Ugh, save the merch for the end. Well, it wouldn't be this trip if there weren't threatening clouds where I'm heading, you know? Oh, and they're moving the Harmonious Show into place, so I got the bridge. Oh, this is interesting. <laughs> I'm on a tight schedule here, uh-oh. I love that their shirts say fireworks on them. The fireworks crew here. As the, the bridge is raised. <laughs> and there it goes. And the bridge has come down. Wow. Look at all the people. Oh, man. Well, we made it through. <sighs> and we're about halfway through with our lap now. And then we get on the Skyliner back to Pop Century and then uh, back on the Sunshine Flyer bus. We'll see how the pickup goes for that. Huh. That's gonna do it, folks. As I approach France, that means it's time to leave. Whew. What a th three days. <laughs> wow. Like, seriously? Packed a lot in. Great trip. But honestly, like it was enough time. I'm I'm ready to I'm ready to get back. Cause I'm a busy man back home in LA too. Uh, but it was wonderful here. 
Um, food and wine, though, at this time of year, you, you, if you guys are coming anytime real soon, beware. It's hot. Take breaks. Make sure you've got water on you at all times. Head inside to cool down. It's essential. Build in a pool day if you're coming here on a big vacation. You're going to need it. It is hot. Woo. Florida. All right, I'm going to enjoy my last uh, few moments here while I walk out. And uh, till next time. Back at Pop Century after a lovely Skyliner. You know, I gotta say something, it's really cute. Um, second time I've been on the Skyliner uh, in two days where I've had such a good group um, that we took the Skyliner. We you know, have to change stops to get here. We just stayed together and, and kept talking. I love that about um, Disney sometimes. You can meet some really lovely people. You can meet some really interesting people as well, but... <laughs> It's nice when you meet some lovely people and you have a nice little chat on the Skyliner. Anyway, uh, I'm back here. I gotta go get my bags and get on the bus and go to the airport. <sighs> so I'm gonna go do that. I'll talk to you guys in just a bit. Off we go. Sunshine Flyer. It was exactly on time, by the way. Like, it's at 4.35, it was, they pulled in here at 4.35. Pretty good. Pretty good. We're off to MC. Oh. Whoops, I forgot to finish the video. I'm back home, as you can see. Uh, you know, sometimes you just forget that, you know, you got a video to close when you get to the airport and you're, like, exhausted. And, you know, you did 20-something thousand steps that day, but hey, I'm, I'm back, guys. Lots of Disney stuff here. Can you see what I got over here? Oh my gosh. Let's see some Gideon's cookies on my table. Oh yeah, so the party's still going for me. Uh, what a wonderful trip. I hope you've enjoyed uh, this whole series on my latest Disney World trip. Uh, I'm just, I don't know, I just love that place. I really do wish I was sitting at Nomad Lounge right now with a tempting tigress in my hand. <sighs> but I'll just have to dream about the next time I do that. Thanks for watching all of these guys. Leave a comment below if you enjoyed and what you want to see me do next time I go back to Walt Disney World. Like, subscribe, <laughs> check out my Patreon page. Have a magical day, everybody. <laughs> Bye.